Hi everybody, Jason from VEMS here. Today we're going to show you a behind the scenes look at creating a small prototype PC board in order to test a function in our new VEMS Display Android app. It's going to have two buttons, two resistors, and an audio jack to externally change the pages on the screen uh, on your phone or Android tablet. So stay tuned. So what we're going to start with with this project is a schematic here. Uh, if you watched our video previously about the uh, Android app, you'll see that the schematic has changed a little bit, where we just changed the, the actual footprint of the switches and added a connector here for a couple of wires. It's just, uh, they're SMD pads, so just solder on some wires, no through holes. So we got the uh, ring two and the sleeve the sleeve going to the resistors through the switches back to ring 2 which is the ground. So we'll switch over to the board layout and show you how we change that. So here we are with the board layout. Uh, basically we have these five pads right here, this one of the switches, and we have the two pads here that are the wires. You have the signal wire and the ground wire. So the signal wire which is ring 2 comes up here to the resistors. These are connected together. Resistors go vertically. Uh, the le left resistor goes to the left switch. The top two pads are one terminal of the switch. The bottom two pads are the other terminal. There's a shield on these switches that we have. Um, these are actually the same switches we used in the um, the round wideband gauge or the round display only gauge. So we had a reel of those, so we used the, reused those. Uh, this right resistor goes to the right side switch. And that's all there is to it. I made the the board as small as possible with leaving enough room. Now the resistors are 0805 size, so they're 8 millimeters long, 5 millimeters wide, and these are uh, solder pads big enough for hand soldering. And uh, as you'll see when we mill it out, it'll actually be just a huge pour where it just does uh, isolation mill. And but you'll see that in the next section. So what we do from here is we go to plot it and then we do the front copper and the edge cuts. So the front copper is the pads on the front side and the edge cuts will be to cut the board out, this yellow line. And that's all we do. We, we just plot that and then we change it. We go use a software called PCB to G code and we run that. So we run this uh, PCB file, the Gerber files, through the G-code and then we just do a little bit of a touch-up on the G-code and bring it over to the milling machine and that's where we go next. Here we're auto-zeroing the Z since you change the bits uh, you want to set the Z height so the big puck on the right, the black puck, is touching the aluminum bar holding the PCB down and alligator clip on the tip, that's the engraving tip right now. Um, once those make connectivity, once there's a continuity between them, then you know that the height is at zero because the copper on the PCB is conductive. So that sets your zero and then you can uh, be confident in your height.
Let's see if I can solder this without getting my hands in the way too much. These are, this is the common one for the two resistors. Just put a touch of solder on there. One on the bottom for the right resistor. And here for the left resistor. Not too bad. Not super easy, but it's not too bad. Oh, much better. Now we'll see where the switches go. There, it's hard to see, but on this switch is a ground pad right there. And these are also ground, so it's all one plane, as you can see. So it's pretty free where we get it put right here. As long as that ground pad touches the ground plane, we're good. Not something you want to do after you drink a bunch of coffee. Should have thought of that this morning. There we go. Uh, one more for the other switch. Easy.
right now I'm just soldering the ground tab it's kind of just a shield for the top of the button so just in case the button switching power I guess perfect Should tin this one first. Probably should have tin both of them. That's a lot better. And that's it. It should work fine like that. We'll go try it. Okay, so here we go. We have the circuit we just made with the two switches. And we just plugged it into this um, TRRS jack to break out. So it's on, this one's labeled V and ground. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, maybe volume and ground. But anyway, it's left is the tip right is the first band so you want the second band or the third band and fourth band so those are your two wires the yellow and the green going over to here so we have Vems tune running on my phone uh, we'll go to the first first screen use the volume buttons we'll plug this in and the right button changes screens left button changes screens so works perfect There. Now you can tape this to your dash, make, make a nice enclosure for it, something like that, and then um, get a different jack so that you can solder those right in. And uh, there you got your external push buttons. Thanks for watching.